Today is World Hepatitis Day. One local woman wants you to know the misconceptions of the disease. Good evening and thanks for joining us. Across the world, hundreds of millions of people are living with a form of hepatitis. News 10's Hannah Fullman spoke with one local woman today. She shares her journey with News 10 of overcoming this debilitating disease. This year's theme for World Hepatitis Day is Hep Can't Wait. Health officials say every 30 seconds someone is dying from a hepatitis related disease. They say now is the time to step up and help bring more awareness to the disease millions of people are living with each day. Tara McDonald is from Terre Haute. Just after her senior year of college, she was diagnosed with a very rare form of hepatitis. My skin was yellow, I had jaundice, um, just very, very tired. Um, I had, I started itching a lot, which is pretty common in liver disease. So I've got like all kinds of, um, you know, scars from that because the, the itching was just so awful. That was one of the worst things I've ever had to experience. This all started when McDonald was in a very serious car accident in college. After doctors prescribed her a specific medication, her liver did not react well to it. Doctors then diagnosed her with a drug-induced hepatitis, a rare form of the disease. I had just started my first job. I was supporting myself. I had an apartment and, um, you know, working every day. And I went from being fine, except for the migraines. But then when I got sick, I just, I just wanted to sleep a lot, lay around. Simply put, hepatitis means inflammation of the liver. There are dozens of different causes, including alcohol, viral infections, autoimmune diseases, and many others. There are several different types of hepatitis, but McDonald says there are often misconceptions. There's other ways to get hepatitis, and I don't think that people understand that. I think that there's such a stigma that it's, you know, IV drug users that get it, and, you know, those, that's the majority of cases. And, and I don't, you know, I don't know the statistics, but there are other ways to get hepatitis, as I'm proof of that. After battling the disease for several months, McDonald defeated it. Now she's using her story to help bring more awareness to the disease. I learned that I'm a lot more resilient than I thought I was. I had to really learn to rely on myself, put my big curl pants on and go to work every day and just, you know, just muddle through it. And so I was very proud of myself for doing that. If you would like to learn more about the different types of hepatitis and prevention measures, we've linked you to those additional resources on our website. That's WTHITV.com. Reporting in the studio, Hannah Fullman, News 10.